might as well just say right now, <laughs> this is what I'm using. I'm using my good old HTC Desire, and I've just got a stopwatch on it. That's pretty much it. And I just hit start, and that's it. And it plays that beep when it's done. Okay. So I guess I'm in focus. I am in focus, I think. That's good. I'm just gonna sit back like this. And off I go. Okay. I'll tell you when I'm going. Hey kids, it's B-I-E-N-D-E-O, and we are back to the B&O show. We're playing some more Mario Galaxy. We're up to the third part. We are past the hour mark. Anyway, we're gonna be heading to the next dome. We're hopefully gonna knock off a big portion of this dome. Hopefully. Maybe. Possibly. But we've got half an hour, and we're gonna start off by tackling one of the first galaxy, the Space Junk Galaxy. I like this galaxy a lot, don't you? Yeah. First thing first, we got the first star. I believe this galaxy also has a Hungry Luma star. We're gonna start off just by doing the first star. I believe the Hungry Luma is in the last star, so that's okay. This one's called Pool Star Path. It's actually pretty awesome. And it's got such awesome music. Yes. The stuff on the bottom, I don't feel like it. Okay. Let's go. Let's see, star bits like that. Whoa. Anyway, we gotta get these. Pretty much hurts your head when you when you look at it. You know, it's not too bad, but it's just, you know. Control's a bit funny. So it's a pretty good game. I like how you smash into that. Oh yeah, that's pretty awesome. Hello, Mr. Pikmin reference. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Why did I hit those buttons? I don't feel like doing stuff for that. Anyway, so now we've got... That's just a bit of junk fly button. Anyway, so these are pool stars. I believe we experienced them in the Good Egg Galaxy, but this is actual whole galaxies that, that rely on it. You see, we're not really going to that many launch stars, but instead we're just kind of flying between... Stuff. I don't feel like fighting these guys, so you, oh. I guess I have to. Rescue the toads. All four of them. And then the toad brigade come along. I like this, I'm just gonna jump over there. You, you can talk to him if you want, but we're pressed for time. Anyway, so now we got a Silver Stars thing. Did we do a Silver Stars already? Anyway, basically, I don't think we have. But anyway, with this one, you don't know the platforms until you're right next to it, so that's the tricky part. But anyway, with the Silver Stars, you just collect all five of them and you get your prize. I might feel rebellious if I actually really did know the layout, but I unfortunately do not know the layout. I also think it's kind of suicide to jump in. Oh gosh! Whoa! Jeez! Oh gosh. Now I just head back. Over here. And now I've got five star pairs. This is actually a kind of long star when you think about it. You can do a rebellious long jump if you feel like it. I do not. <laughs> anyway, we got a first star. I'm very happy. So happy. That we got a first star. Of the thing. I should really not put the borders of my thing. Because my, my TV has quite a quite thick borders and I try to get the whole TV in there, but problem is I don't have a proper tripod or anything. I'm not sure I'll save the game. It's probably bite, it, bite me in the butt when 
I find out the recording's bad. Anyway, I gotta get some star bits. Seriously, we gotta, we gotta rack up some star bits somehow. Uh, but on to the second star, nonetheless. Camilla's airship attack. Yeah, yeah, um, one thing is that with the Hungry Lunas just in the main hub, you can do them any time. In fact, I may possibly feel like getting those near the end, because they only have one star, so... So, there's no comets there, and you can basically spend all your comet time attempting to get star bits, because you've got many star bits for the comet stages. Anyway, we're not going that way, we're going over here, because this is an airship stage. Because we obviously have never done one of these already. Oh, these are proper Goombas. We can get the one up. I don't feel like it. <laughs> I like this. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Oh, here's something. It's called a shell. Have you ever used one of these before? I don't think the shell appears, no, you gotta get another shell. What the shell? I believe the other one gives like a life stream or something. Anyway, they've never used the shells in the sequel. I think it's just because it felt really tacked on. There's actually a secret down there, I'm gonna feel like going down there. Oh yeah. Happy birthday! Oh, come on. Come on, lower right corner of my screen. Anyway... Oops. Are you serious? I'm not, I'm not allowed to get that. Oh, I can get that. Anyway, you gotta, you gotta defeat these guys, because unfortunately they don't throw... Oh, they also break the thingies. We're gonna watch out for that. There you go. Because apparently they power the thingy. Oh. And here we are. Here's a boss that you never expected. It's Camilla. What Camille does is that she throws fire and they kind of emanate fireballs. But then she does this. And if you spin near it. And I'll wait for her to go over here. Yeah, I hit her, I don't care! You can get a bunch of stuff across the stage, so it doesn't matter. Just dodge her attacks, more fireballs, and then just wait for her to see the green stuff. Yeah, in the face. But hold on, she gets mad for some reason. She she starts spawning these guys. And I say spawning because they keep appearing. Now you also want to watch out for the, for the shells to make sure that they don't hit her or bear, hit the match groupers. Because if they do, then you know the shells are gone. You don't want the shell to be gone. Yeah. Oh, we're out here. There's some sort of cutscene coming along. Oh, yeah. Ooh, 80 star bits. That's good. Oh. It seems that Prankster Comet has appeared somewhere. Oh boy. Pranks the comets, man. They have a strange effect on galaxies, if you want to learn more, ask Luma and notice about such things. So basically, yeah, um, I believe in the actual verses they're doing this thing called... I, I can't remember what it's called, but basically you have to talk to him and change the comet. So that's pretty bad if you want a certain comet to appear, just so you can get the stars quicker. But since you go for 100% run, what is the point... There's not that much point besides just having to stress over a hard one before you do the easy ones. Not too bad. Anyway, we're back in the fountain, that's unfortunate, we have to walk our way back. We're gonna jump back into the Pikmin Space Drunk Galaxy. Bum, 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 
bum, bum. Anyway, this is the third and final star, Taron Tox's Tangled Web. And because I know this, I remember this. I remember there's a hungry luma on that planet. And I think you need like 50 or something star bits to get it. So anyway, I'm just... Now here's the handy thing. If you feed the luma, but you don't go on its star, it'll still be fed. That's a very nice feature. Unfortunately, you do have to get all the star bits on one run. But, you know... I guess that's kind of the scene. Yeah, I'm just gonna come across here and I'm gonna try to pick up 50 star bits. Because it's quite annoying to go on that planet and have to hunt the star bits. Whoa! Also, these pull sides, if you wait too long, it'll like pop you out of it, so to speak. There's a hungry luma. I believe you'll need like 50, and unfortunately. Fortunately, I've got 40, so this is what you gotta do. You gotta go inside, and then you gotta hunt around for, for, for Goombas. It's actually a very annoying one. Because that's the... Thankfully, we've got 50 now, so that's good, but it's, it's kind of annoying just because it's not... They're not too popular, and I believe you may be stuffed if you don't. It's also a bit hard to get out of there, actually. The angle's kind of weird. Okay, there he is. In fact, we might go on the Hungry Luma star before we do the actual star. Nah, nah, I'll do the actual star first. So, 50, yeah, there you go. Where'd you go? There you go. I've got to be kidding if I, like, do this one. That's it, I'm stuffed! Yes, <laughs> Holy snap, I'm on this thing. <laughs> so anyway, you can go over there if you want, but we're gonna head back over to wherever the the entrance was. I think it was over here. There you go. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, that was a pool star the whole time. I like the reflection on this planet. But how the heck does this planet just come into existence, may I just say? Oh, hold on. Oh, take that. It's this way, isn't it? Yeah. Also, the most annoying thing about planet-based games, may I just say, is that they have the camera just constantly spinning around. Smash! So anyway, we're going to head off to Tarantox's Tangled, Tangled Web. I, I don't like these guys. I like their fur texture thingy. The, oh, thank you unused elements in the second game. These things basically you pull back and then you let go and you fly, fling in that direction. Which basically means you can really stuff yourself in some cases. Just aim yourself towards where they're pointing for the most part. Okay. Cause if you're if you're way off, you'll just fly straight straight off. Oh, this thingy, that's the thingy. Straight in the middle. There you go. So you go in here. You can actually shake the coins out with your cursor, that's pretty cool. Anyway, this is a boss. I'm not sure if you noticed. This guy's called Tarantox, right? Here. I actually like using these things to fling myself out of the way. Basically, what you can do, or what you're supposed to do, is you're supposed to... Oh, oh come on. Get out of that toad. You're supposed to hit the big red button on his backside, and then you gotta try and hit these things. It's best if you can try... Oh, you can't combo them. Okay, stop that. You can get several, a couple of one go. In fact, I think it's possible to get all three. There you go. Well, of course, he has a second form. So he goes back, and then... Then he's really mean here. You know what he does? That. you got to wait for him to do all that, which is pretty annoying. Okay. You want to get on the right side, though. There you 
to one get. Yep. There you go. I also think he gets up faster, to be honest. Oh, I'll do my best. Yeah! Okay, okay, I didn't mess it up too bad. You get. I like this backdrop thingy. I like that. That's pretty cool. So. Anyway, I'm recording this on the 22nd of June. My school is not yet over, unfortunately. But I do have a nice weekend. It's weird. Public schools are off. Oh, oh. Hungry Loomer has appeared outside. I don't feel like feeding it straight away. But, we're going to start doing more stuff, okay? Firstly, I'm going to head off. Oh, you jerk face. I was going to hit the bonus star, but no. No, you want me to do the speedy comments. So we're going to see exactly what I just did. But in speedy mode, which is what I just did anyway. Pull star park. So anyway, I did that start in, say, four minutes. We did it in four minutes. I think this is, says five minutes. Seriously. I mean, granted, yeah, of course, it does seem mean at first. I believe in the second one, they do, like, clocks. You gotta pick up four. Oh, four minutes, okay. Long jump is your friend! Okay, come on, let's do this. Okay, that's one. Okay, well, some sauce. Well, actually, no, I started the part and then I had to do the thing and also didn't count. It was just like that. I guess it's good that you can see an official time on this. You're pulling me right next to it, but you let go for no reason. By the way, I will not win this versus by coin. I will not win this versus by coin. No way. We've already got the, um, got enough stars for the next, um, boss galaxy. Considering we've only gone to, 
we've only gone to one of the four galaxies beforehand in this game. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can try to get the other two, but I think one of the stars was activated by the other one. Anyway, after you get all the stars, it will tell you which star the hidden star is in. Or after you get all the main star, I don't know, we've already seen that, come on. Since I've already fed the Luma, it's, it's okay. But yeah, in the sequel, they still do Hungry Lumas. It is still in the sequel. Oh gosh. What the heck? Gravity does not work like that. I like how you spin the thing, it's just go anyway. Anyway, we're on the Yoshi planet. This is the challenge. You must defeat all these Goombas. They also don't give Star Bits, which is such a shame, because this will be like the perfect star to grind Star Bits if that really works. Combo! 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 No, I got hit once. Oh, there's no health! So, yeah. It, so, it's kind of difficult, and also the steam coming out of that. I don't know what's with that. I, I know, I mean, I know it's his last person. There are a lot of Goombas on this planet, man. Seriously, why did Bowser put like so many good moves over here? Yup, got it. You last one? Yeah, yeah. There we go, that was good. I was like it was made of wood. Like someone carved it. And it's like 10 meters tall, but it's technically a planet. Oh, Galaxy, you make so much sense. Yeah. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Yoshi's unexpected appearance, yeah. Anyway, so we got eight minutes. Now what are we gonna do? Hopefully we can knock off another two stars. I know, I'm really pushing the star count. Oh gosh, we got this. <laughs> Okay, if you got two players, this is the perfect star to grind star bits. If you've got one person, this is the perfect star to not grind star bits. Because seriously, this is like the loop de loop galaxy. There's just nothing in it. Oh, it's, it's like, it's just like your, your cursor won't appear on the screen. Or actually, it does appear on the screen this time. It's just that, um, it's just that it's really awkward if you try pointing at the screen. And you'll see why. Hey now, if you're thinking about just rolling that ball away, you better listen to old Bill Ball here. First jump to get on the ball. Alright, you're now hold the wheel up straight up. And that is called the basic position. From that basic position, you tilt to go in a direction. Now here's the cool thing, if you point directly at the screen, you just roll forward, but you can still do something. Also, well, smush is a word. But yeah, you'll see me pointing at the screen because I'm literally just kind of aiming forward. I have mastered, I have mastered the skill. Just point at the screen. Oh yeah, yeah. If you go fast enough, that happens. Also, this is a fun thing. You get to jump if you hit A. Now hopefully they won't do anything mean, like the bombs or anything. I also like how they put the guy right next to the thing. So anyway, yeah, that was that's it. Reverse flagpole. So anyway, we got another star, that's our sixth star in the pot, and I believe we may possibly... Well, of course we're gonna get another star. I think we're gonna have to go to Battle Rock. But I think the secret star... Battle Rock is two secret stars, but the the um, other secret star is a bit later, I would say. Battle Rock is the only galaxy that has seven stars, fun fact. 
It has two secret stars and two comets. Every stage is two comets. Every, well, every main galaxy. And the main galaxies have three main stars. The three main stars, usually one secret star, one regular comet, and then a special comet that appears after you beat Bowser at the end of the game. Or you can, add, but this one just magically has two secret stars. Sometimes the secret stars are thing unlocked later. Sometimes the secret stars are just found in the stage. Sometimes they're hungry women. The music in this stage is also bad. People get annoyed at those things. Because first of all, uh, I don't know whether you can fluke that jump. It may be possible to be able to fluke that jump, but... I don't feel like trying. Next star. Next star is the secret star as well. I think. But this is a very cool galaxy. I like it a lot. Anyway, we stand up here, and then you stand on the screw, and you screw it in. You turn on the platform, which starts going in the direction of where you're going. I also like how it's this, this set area, which the camera can't get. There's a lot of star bits to just fall on in this stage. If you have a second player, it's very handy on this stage, because you got to dodge these things, and there's no help. It's not as all that, but who cares? Might as well pick them up. Reset point counts somehow. Cool. Also, you want to watch out for like everything. So yeah, it's actually pretty awesome. I mean, you think about it, it's, it, it's pretty awesome. I was like, when you press that, and it just sucks on that. I better watch out. I better not die again. I'm dying here. I may just say that is a pretty big jump. Whoa, gosh. And yeah, they have some on top, some on the bottom, so it just really aggravates. I like how they Anyway, this is this introduces. Oh. I was gonna say this introduces us to the mechanic of bullet bills, but we've already seen that already, haven't we? Anyway, just attract the attention of the bullet bill. You can try and go for those, but I'm gonna see if we can try and squeeze in another star. We've got two and a half minutes after this, and that's pretty crazy that I'm trying to smush in eight stars in one half hour, but. I don't know. I don't know. Considering I did seven in the last part, and the last part I, I pretty much messed up with the uh, other galaxy. You know, I, I, I could have fed in another star. I think some people did as well in part two. I don't know. I like being. I don't know. I, I, I think it's good to be. Oh, let's do this. Yeah, there you go, Hurry Scary Galaxy. This will, this will take us two minutes. There you go. Oh, all fine. We'll knock off Balrock and we'll get on to the next stuff next. Galaxy. This is actually a pretty cool galaxy, no matter how really lazy it may seem. Yeah, that's it, by the way. Yeah, that's where I got all the subjects. What, what now, Hater? <laughs> Had to, it was necessary. Okay, so basically what you gotta do is you gotta get all the music notes. Nope, oh, I should have done that. Well, uh, all the platforms are shrinking. There you go. Now you can do like a massive long jump and just be like really cool with this. Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can. Oh, dang it. Well, you can, yeah, you can do this, which is pretty awesome. I don't know if you can go on forever. Considering the way I'm. <laughs> I think if you hold up, you just manage to go all crazy and stuff. Anyway, since we don't really have that much time, 
we don't have that much time, so we managed to knock off eight stars, which is pretty awesome. Eight stars, that's that's very good. The galaxy is complete, by the way, so we've done the two side galaxies, we've gotten all the stars in the in the Space Junk Galaxy, we've got one from Battle Rock. I think we I think we should call it a part. And how many I, I wanna see how many stars this, this person wants. I think it's 800. 400, oh, almost there. May as well. By the way, you feed him fives or something like that. So anyway. Part's over. Anyway, I'll see you guys next part. I may as well just show the billboard because I have to, kind of. So anyway, yeah, you can talk to him and he'll change what galaxy has the comet. Which galaxy does have the comet? It's a uh, honey hive, I believe. So I gotta feed that guy, yeah, but it's a honey hive, yeah. But anyway, yeah, so we're gonna knock off um, some of these other comets, maybe. I think I may go for the comets. And then I'll try and get Battle Rock off. But I don't know, I'm thinking I may save the comments for the end of the game. You never know. Anyway, I'll see you kids next time. Let's play Super Paper Mario, or Let's Versus the Versus of the Super Paper Mario. Super Paper Mario? What? <laughs>